Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 25th of August 2022. It is a Thursday, the day of Jupiter, the day of expansion, the day of fulfillment. Um, really good colours to wear today are greens, royal greens, purples, anything that's royal. We're talking about rubies, we're talking about emeralds, sapphires, diamonds, anything that's going to like make you feel rich, um, really full of like kind of embodying yourself, not full of yourself in the respect of like, you know, being egotistical, but more like just embodying like the true version of yourself, something that's going to make you feel really royal and really kind of decadent in a way, which is kind of like, um, which is kind of contradictory to the transits that we've got today. We've got Uranus retrograde in Taurus until January the 22nd, a good six months. And I think I mentioned the other day about how when you're reviewing certain things about uh, like certain plans and whatnot, we're looking at the next, you know, the next couple of months until, um, until January, until December, January. And, you know, I think it was to do with the, uh, a Gemini transit that's going on at the moment. And I think that this is really useful. Um, you know, Uranus is retrograde. So this gives us an opportunity to really just look at our plans, look at what we want to happen and um, start to um, just place Put, put plans in place, basically. Um, there's, I don't think there's going to be any kind of sudden changes. There may be something happening with the Venus retrograde that we've got going on, coming up. But essentially, with Uranus um, being retrograde, you know, there, there's a little bit of... We've got a little bit of breathing space here. So just take your time with it. Um, also, anything that we have done that's on a kind of like a... Like kind of not the road that we normally would travel... Um, something different that we would do, um, then maybe, you know, maybe revisit those, maybe have a look at what you learned from them, look at the, uh, like the, the lessons that came from them. Yeah, maybe check those out. You've also got Mercury entering Libra until October, um, and it will all, until, until the end of October 29th, and it will retrograde. Now, um, this gives us an opportunity to really balance out our energy, to balance out our mental energy, and also the way that we communicate with others, um, give, give, giving it a sense of diplomacy um, and understanding, fairness, which I think is the main thing that comes across in this transit. Um, you've also got an opportunity... Um, to, to maybe act a little bit avoidant in terms of like approaching certain things with people. Just watch that. I mean, you know, it's not a bad thing, but maybe this might be good of like a good time for you to see when is the right time to speak about something to someone. Um, and that will continue until the end of October. Otherwise, the moon is in Leo. Um, and yeah, those are the messages for today. Let me crack on with the reading. Dear Spirit, what messages would you like me to communicate to the collective today? I'm reading with the, um, with the Art of Adventure Tarot, and I'll be clarifying with the Affirmative deck. Dear Spirit, what messages would you like me to communicate to the collective today? Wow. Temperance. Oh my God. So, Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, Temperance, fabulous. Whoa, the Moon. Death, what's going on here? <laughs> the Two of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. The King of Cups and the Two of Swords reversed. Okay. Oh my God, it's so hot. Um, right, so bottom of the deck energy is the Seven of Wands. And we've got the World, I'll take it. Right, okay, so... I mean, we've got some big players here today. Um, let me just double check that that's straight on camera. Fabulous. Okay, right. So, I, I, I don't know. These transits that I just talked about are so perfect, like, for what's going on here. It seems like there's a lot of good stuff that's going on right now. 
there's a lot of good things that are happening um you've got the, the thing that's just getting me is this seven and eight of pentacles um there's a there's a sense of work ethic um you, like not being able to kind of like nail down something to do with work and there's a sense of uh the emotional side of things that are coming forward massive massive transitions going on death is here we've also got the moon um a lot is unknown right now um there's also like a sense of illusion that's going on here but it's almost like you're leaving behind what's what what was there before um with this seven here the seven of wands you may think that things are kind of holding you back that you know are not really holding you back we've also got the seven here which is um the seven of pentacles which kind of says to me that there's this there's this sense of of again clearing the decks understanding that what you've got here is is not enough like you need you need more even though you've re you've reaped the benefits from this situation you need more than that you've also got the um eight of pentacles here which also says to me that the focusing in on something right now is not the way to go it's about you expanding there's a sense of expansion i'm getting you need to like really cast your net wide i'm feeling and you need to be patient with it i'm getting the image uh, you know when i said cast the net i'm getting the image of you know, a guy fishing in, in a reservoir, yeah? Not the sea, but in a reservoir. So it's in a container of water. So you know what's in there. And then he's fishing. So that means that, but then there's a sense of patience. So it's almost like you know that you're going to score. You know that you're going to get the fish. You know that you're going to get something good. And, you, you know, depending on what the fish are in there. But it's almost like you have to think again about what it is that you're, you're going you're gonna to fish for. You've got to think about how you're going to do it because there's something that's going on that you didn't, that, that is unknown. And there's so much, there's fear here, but this is a real transition. There's so many happier times ahead. This is like yesterday. This is a really positive reading. I mean, you can't, you know, you've got the world here, total, total kind of flip in terms of like, you know, new chapter. This is it now. Um, and there's a big sense of maturity that's going on. If you, I don't know maybe th thank you I, I don't know if like maybe there's there's there may be a relationship that has come in um that's really kind of helped helped you in this respect that also this doesn't have to be a romantic it could be platonic could be with um a friendship it could be that you're starting to finally meet your tribe i would say more more specifically it's someone because it could be like a good friend or somebody that you just really gel with, really connect with. And with this two of swords reversed, there's almost like this sense of you knowing what direction that you need to go in. There's no twist here. You actually like know where you want to go. But also um, you're, you're able to communicate yourself in a really great way. You're able to, to say, your, say exactly what you want in the way you want to and be yourself truly with this two reversed. You know, because you've got temperance, the sun... Um, th these are really beautiful cards to signify that you and the world to signify that you're being within your truth and you don't know what the outcome is you don't know what's going to happen but that's fine the king of cups here is really kind of resonating with your um, your demeanor you know this uh, you know the king of cups to me as I, I think I've said previously is always like someone who doesn't um, he's not in his element um, you know, men or, or the male form or m the male energy and water, male is, is, is synonymous with yang, with fire, and now he's in water. So it's almost like you've had to, you've had to bring in this sense of balance, big maturity going on here though. This is what you've actually managed to achieve in order to get to this point. Um, usually with these two cards, I would say that there's something to do with the lack of work. I do see that. I do see something like there is going to be like a kind of maybe a diminishing in work or something like that. But it's almost, as I said, like this reservoir, you know, you can't see the fish. They're not jumping out at you. It's about you going in there and figuring out like which fish, maybe which bait you need to like, you know, see the, like get the fish with, maybe like adjust your rod or tackle. So like, you know, it's just, you know, basically it, it's about re kind of, is it recalibrating or reassessing 
your your approach to this and you're in such a strong position to do it strong strong position to do it incredible reading I don't know if I want to take these upside down now. There's too many. Just one, please. <laughs> okay, so we've got no judgment. Okay, so I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic and call it into my office and tell it to take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the, enjoy the joy of simply being. Who hired that guy anyway? Wow. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't say how positive this reading is. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. There's just so much sunshine and colour. The only thing I would say would be this. You know, look at this guy. Like, he's just dancing around in his pants. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, what is he afraid of? And he's actually up there. And he's like, there's just all these things. You know, you've got these snakes, these claws. You know, it's kind of like... And it's wands. There, there may be... I don't know. Maybe there's a possibility that you're identifying the amount of things that you have to do in order to move on from this stage as these hindrances. And you're thinking, oh my God, I'm totally overwhelmed. So maybe that's happening. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. And I definitely resonate with that. Um, but we've got two sevens here. We've got two twos. Um, and then we've got these powerhouses of, of, you know, the world, the moon, temperance, the sun, death, incredible cards. Um, and this real sense of like kind of unity. It's this symbol. This is what the two of cups is about. Um, and it's interesting how this one, which is twisted, is reversed. So it means that there's a release. The energy is allowed to kind of flow and, and go. So well done, you know. You've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of stuff to kind of help you through, um, you know, help you through this space. And I think this Uranus transition is allowing you to take stock of all of the, like, steps that you've taken and been like, right, okay, things are happening now. Um and don't judge yourself, you know, don't judge yourself on the, th on the things of saying, oh yeah, like this should have happened before or, um, or that, that, oh, it's about time it happened. You know, don't, don't, don't put any judgment on it. Just be there, be within the moment, um, enjoy and dance the dance that you need to, because you really deserve this. Oh my God. So beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, let me just think any more messages. Enjoy this time, my loves. Just take take a step at, the, at a time, and just um, just really just be proud of yourselves. You know, just be proud because you've done really well. I'm sending you all the love in the world. I hope you like this reading, my friends. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Um, and uh, thank you to all of my returning subscribers and to all of my um, people who comment. You're all amazing and it really means the world to me um, with the conversation that goes on. Um, thank you. You take care, my darlings, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.